Hello and welcome to my channel. You know, today I'm really excited to show you what I picked up from Figures Toy Company recently. You know, um, Figures Toy Company makes some of the best, in my opinion, the best Batman 1966 figures out there. You know, the level of detail that they provide and, and the outfits, you know, and that Mego aesthetic. You know, I grew up on Migos when I was a kid and I had a bunch of the old Justice League, Batman and Superman, you know, figures. And when I got my hands on these, I was just really excited to, to see the, the level of attention to detail that they have in them, especially in the, the Batman and the Robin, the capes, the, the costumes, the head sculpt. It's just all perfect. You know, this figure right here, I'm, I'm really excited to get him opened and out of the box too, because you know what? Egghead was one of those characters, I, I, I believe he was just actually made for the TV series. You know, and when they were looking for uh, an actor, they wanted a character actor that exuded a lot of charm because you know, he's supposed to be the uh, most sophisticated uh, criminal out there in Gotham City. You know, he, he's supposed to be, I think he was the, called the world's smartest uh, criminal mastermind, you know, because he always had these nefarious plots and he always had some, some quirky little scheme that he was working up. You know, when he, uh, let's see, he kidnapped Commissioner Gordon. Um, he... Also tried to steal Gotham from uh, the people of Gotham by finding this, I guess it was some sort of bylaw. There was something in the contract uh, between Gotham and the people that if they could not keep up with their payments, uh, the, the city would revert back to the original owners of Native Americans. So he cooked up some scheme with uh, one of the Native, Native American chiefs. But you know what? Just really a fun character. And, you know, Vincent Price is one of my all-time favorite uh television and movie icons. Uh, a few days ago I did a, uh, a video on a custom that I made from Vincent Price and that's why I thought it would be a great time to show this guy off. So here are some of the other things that are available in the uh, figures toy line. I have this really neat set. I believe they still have a few or they're selling it separately because you know what if you haven't picked up Egghead Chances are he's going to go extinct real soon because it looks like they're kind of selling off their their product. So if you haven't gotten him yet, you may want to hustle. I wasn't able to get the clamshell version. I, I most mostly all my figures. No, no, about I'd say more than fifty percent of my figures from uh, the Figures Toy Company are in the clamshell, which is really neat because you can kind of tuck them away after you're done. But you know what? I have the Batman. I even have um, he produced a head, which was like an alternate sculpt, a sculpt where. I think he looks more, uh, he has a grimace on his face. Uh, so I have both of those head sculpts. Um, of course, I have the uh, the Joker, and I even managed to pick up um, the utility belt with the Joker face on it. The Riddler, uh, fortunate enough to get, uh, you know, Batgirl. That, that went out of stock for a while, and they brought it back. So I'm hoping that once they sell out of these figures, maybe they'll come back with some, but I don't know. King Tut, that's one that I need. Um, you know what, the Eartha Kit uh, Catwoman, I don't have her, but I did manage to pick up the head because I've got the other Catwoman and I can swap out the heads. I've already done that before and it works out really well. You know, um, let's see, I do have O'Hara. I do not have the Mad Hatter, so I'm gonna have to pick him up too. So King Tut and the Mad Hatter are on my to-do list uh, or my, my want list uh, almost immediately. I gotta get these guys. Um, I have Robin, as I said before, I have Catwoman, of course I have the Penguin, Alfred, now I have my Egghead, I have a Mr. Freeze, Bookworm and Shane, oh, no, I don't have, I'm going to have to get those guys, you know, especially the Bookworm, because, uh, you know, Roddy McDowell, he was in TV everywhere, you know, he was one of those, another iconic figure, you know, and um, I'm a huge fan of Planet of the Apes and the TV series, so, you know, having him in a comic villain form is just going to be, I, that's, that's something I have to have. So let me go ahead and get this guy open and we'll take a closer look at him. Put the box away, be careful with that. I actually cut myself, that would be no fun. So here we have 
Vincent Price as the egghead. And you know, I understood uh, that putting that that prosthetic on his head was pretty time consuming, and taking it off was even more time consuming. Uh, I saw this YouTube video where Vincent Price finally just decided that. You know, it was too much for him to bear to sit in that chair and have him tug at it slowly. So he, he began reaching behind the prosthetic and just ripping it all off at once, like a, like a Band-Aid. And I don't know about you, but, you know, I've seen close-ups of where it's attached to a scalp. That doesn't look like it would be a very pleasant process, you know. But as with all Figure Story Company uh, products, the outfit is just spot on. It's superb. You know, he's got the two buttons in the front of his, um, I guess it's a tuxedo type jacket. You know, he's got this like um, egg yellow, like a yolk yellow trim that goes all the way around it and incorporates uh, that same uh, motif in the, in the sleeve. He's got that same yellow piping that goes down his leg. Let's see if he has socks. No, nope, no socks. That's pretty common with these figures. If, if the pant doesn't go all the way down to the bottom, I mean, if the pant goes all the way down to the bottom, you're probably not going to get um, socks. And he's got his little ascot here. Let's see, shirt. Nope, it's not a full sleeve. It's uh, it's cut off at the top. So this right here is a faux sleeve. See how they've um, created that down at the bottom to give the illusion that it's a full length sleeve. But I just can't tell you how nice this figure is up close, you know? Let's see if I can get him to stand. It's kind of hit and miss with these bodies though, you know? Um, bodies sometimes are, are tight or sometimes they're loose. Looks like his feet are loose. Looks like the rest of them's okay. Let's see, I think I have a stand here. Yeah, that's one nice looking figure. that. These tails go all the way down to his calves. This is such an excellent figure. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Anyway, he was always doing that too, right? There was always like, you know, he would always change the words so that it had, you know, egg at the beginning. It's just, just a funny character. But yeah, look at that sculpt. Here, I think I have the box. Let me get the box real quick just to show you a comparison. That is just so neat. So neat. You know what? Great figure to have in your collection. You know, um, I don't know. I haven't been keeping track of uh, McFarlane. Is that what it is? The, the, the new Batman um, toy line they've come out with from the 1966 version. I haven't been keeping track of it. I know they have some really cool vehicles and uh, other playset accessories that look really, really neat, but they're just a little small for these guys. I think they're a little bit out of scale. But, you know, I don't think that they have an egghead figure in their collection. If they do, let me know down in the comments below, or maybe I'll just get on after this and, and check it out and see what they do have. But, no, I'm, I'm sold on the Figures Toy Company. I've started my collection. I'm gonna try to finish it. You know, I won't be able to get the variants, of course, because those are long since gone. And I was really lucky to get my, you know, my bad girl, because I never thought I'd have her. But yeah, what a great looking figure. Well, if you haven't pictures up yet, like I said, you may want to hurry and get it, uh, get it ordered as soon as possible, just because I don't, I don't know how much longer they're going to have these things available. You know what? Um, same thing with uh, Johnny Quest. I remember I bought a, uh, I, I couldn't get a hold of Race Bannon. You know, I really, really want to race Bannon, but I wasn't able to get one. But I was able to pick up, you know, Dr. Quest and Haji and uh, Johnny before they stopped selling them. So I think that this might be the end run of, of these guys. Hopefully they bring them back. Hopefully they bring back race Bannon. That's what I really want. But, you know, this line and uh, Scooby-Doo line is another one that, that I'm really interested in. So I may have to, you know, put in my Christmas wish list, you know, to Mrs. Casual Crafter and see what I can pick up. <laughs> um, until next time, you guys, be cool, stay safe. You know, if you haven't picked these guys up, pick them up. You know, great looking figures, and I think you'd be really happy with them. Until next time, stay safe, take care, bye bye now.